Welcome to the Center of Math series on topology. Today we're going to talk a little bit about compactness and what it means for a set to be compact. So uh, space, a topological space X is compact if for any uh, any collection of open sets which cover X, so the union of all the open sets uh, contains X, we can find the finite number of these open sets, the subcollection of this collection, such that the union of this finite number of open sets also covers X. Uh, so we can prove in a, an equivalent uh, condition to compactness. So uh, we can show X is compact if and only if uh, for any collection of closed sets CI in X such that this collection has a property that any finite number of CI, their intersection is not empty, then the intersection of all the CI must also be non empty. So this holds for all our uh, different uh, closed sets with this property. Uh, then X is compact, if X is compact, this holds for families of closed sets. So first we're going to assume X is compact and we're going to take a family of closed sets which any uh, finite intersection of them is not empty but the intersection of all the sets is empty and we're going to show we have a contradiction. Uh, so taking the complement of all the closed sets, note since the intersection is empty the complement covers is, is all of X so the complement of all these closed sets give us, gives us a cover of X and we assume that X is compact so this cover we have some finite subcover of, uh, of this set and then so these find a number of open sets we take take the complement of these open sets again and uh, note uh, since these open sets all uh, they cover X there are complements of all of them it has uh, empty intersection and so we have a finite number of these closed sets which have empty intersection which is a contradiction so that proves one direction So now we're going to assume that for any family of closed sets, uh, which have our desired property, so any finite uh, intersection of them is non empty, so the intersection of the, all the sets must also be non empty. We're going to take an open cover of X and show that we can find a finite subcover. Uh, so take the complement of the open cover, that gives us a family of closed sets with uh, empty intersection. So since the intersection is empty, we must have some finite number of closed sets in this family which also have empty intersection otherwise the total intersection would not be empty. So then take the complement of this uh, finite set of closed sets and we have a finite uh, open cover of X from our original open cover. So X must be compact and that proves theorem. Uh, so one more theorem, we can prove a, a closed subset of a compact space is also compact. So take a closed subset Y of some compact space X. It uh, takes any open cover of Y. If the open cover covers X as well, then we can take some, because X was compact, we can take some finite subcover that also covers Y. And that sh shows we, in that case, 
have a finite subcover. Uh, alternatively, if it does not cover x, we're going to append the set, uh, the complement of y in x, and all this is done in the subspace topology. We're going to append the complement of y in x to our open cover, again, open cover of x. We're going to take then a, a finite subcover of this open cover, and because uh, the original open cover does not cover x, we must, must have the complement of y in the finite subcover. Otherwise, some points in X would not be covered. So now we have a, a finite subcover that covers all of X and includes a complement of Y. And uh, once we take away the complement of X, uh, note we still, because we, the complement of, uh, the complement of Y, uh, note that we still have a cover that covers all, a finite subcover that covers all of Y, because the complement of Y has no points in Y. And so then we're still left with a, sub, a finite subcover of Y. So Y, in either case, has a finite subcover, and so it must be come back. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.